पंद्रह सौ प्रीलोडेड गानों वाला की पैड फोन धमाकेदार साउंड के साथ कारवा मोबाइल हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे हरे सहस्र शीर्षा पुरुष सहस्राक्ष सहस्त्र पात अर्जुना कुट सी थाउजेंड्स ऑफ हेड्स थाउजेंड्स ऑफ हेलमेट्स आईज so many arms bellies and legs and in this way he saw universal form usually people think that this universal form is the original form of god who took the form of an ordinary human being like we all take various forms and that sahasra shirsha the form of many many heads bellies arms and legs is the original form of lord but this is not fact so what is fact what is the mystery of this universal form let us try to understand in this chapter chapter number 11 the universal form this session is dedicated to his divine grace ac bhakti vedant swami prabhupad our spiritual master and the founder and acharya of the world wide hari krishna movement let us start with verse number 1 अर्जुन उवाच मदनुग्रहाय परम गुह्य मध्यात्म संगीत योक्त वचस्ते नोहोय विगत मम अर्जुन सेट आई हैव हर्ड योर इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑन कॉन्फिडेंशियल स्पिरिचुअल मैटर्स विच यू हैव सो काइंडली डिलीवर्ड ऑन टू मी and my illusion is now dispelled bhavapya yauhi bhutanam rutav vistara shomaya vattah kamala patraksha mahatmyam api chavyayam o lotus side one i have heard from you in detail about the appearance and disappearance of every living entity as realized through your inexhaustible glories evam etad yathatatvam atmanam parameshwara drashtum ichhami te roopam aishwaram purushottama o greatest of all personalities o supreme form Though I see here before me your actual position, I yet wish to see how you have entered into this cosmic manifestation. I want to see that form of yours. So we have to read these things very carefully. If we read the first line of this verse, Arjuna is mentioning evam etad yathatatvam eta this roop, this form which I am seeing in front of me. This is yathatta tvam even though I am perceiving you as it is your original form yet I wish to see how you have entered in this cosmic manifestation Ashwaram roopam Ashwaram means opulences So Arjuna has agreed that Krishna the form which I am seeing here in front of me this is yathatta tvam as it is I am seeing you so these words are important So it is not that Krishna is somebody else who is there within the body of two hundred shams in their form, who was a chariot driver of Arjuna. This is a very wrong understanding. Krishna is not supreme person in the form of soul residing within the two hundred shams in their form, but the original form of God as it is is two hundred form only. Evam eta diyathatta dvam. So as you are, I am seeing you. but still i want to see other form which is aishwaram roopam how you have pervaded the entire universe so what does it mean it means just as the soul is present in this body and it is pervading in the entire body in the form of consciousness similarly as we have discussed in the previous chapter lord enters in this universe 
in this material world and so many universes they develop so unless the consciousness is present body does not develop in a similar fashion the universes will not develop manifest so many variegated forms unless god is entered into it so just like we have got this form so we can show this form to anybody who desires to meet us in a similar fashion krishna has got so many forms his original form arjuna is seeing but this universal form which is developed when krishna enters in the form of vishnu in the material world that is also krishna's form that form although is accepted temporarily all the other forms krishna forms so many in narayan forms they are eternally situated in the spiritual world and they manifest here in the material world for some time and then they again disappear in the spiritual world they are permanently situated but the vishnu form of krishna it is temporary when the material world is exhibited by the material energy this universal form is shown and then uh, even though it is transcendental form it is under the control of time factor in time it is displayed and then in time it is finished so that in future no ordinary person can claim that yes i am also god as in the west they say india is a factory of producing gods because so many saints when they went to the west they started claiming i am god so hardly they were able to find a person who tells the knowledge of god and tells that i am representative of god i am servant of god everybody claimed i am god and you do this my process my course you will realize you are also god so god is not so cheap controller of all the planets solar systems so many universes so in order to save such people from such manufactured gods arjuna asked so tomorrow if somebody claims in future that i am krishna or i am god i am incarnation then we should kindly request them can you please show me your universal form your body of entire universe can you please show it to me then we can accept that you are god so otherwise anybody can claim any madman can tell that i am god so in order to save the people arjuna is very very advanced devotee he is pure devotee of krishna so there is no need to see such forms pure devotees are not interested in seeing the opulence of krishna in material world we have a relationship with somebody because we know oh that person is very opulent from a person who doesn't have opulences his family members also don't care for him friends don't care for him but in the case of god it is the other way around god is actually satisfied when somebody worships him in the absence of knowledge of the opulences that is pure devotional service i want to serve you worship you simply out of love so thus very advanced devotees like arjuna they are not interested in seeing such opulences that is why krishna did not show him to arjuna also but now for guiding the common people who may get misguided in future by the false incarnations cheaters arjuna is requesting krishna so that in future people may not doubt oh he was only a friend so he was flattering his friend uh, krishna or king uh, always engages in diplomacy so there could be a diplomatic intent behind praise of krishna in order to remove all such doubts of flattery of diplomacy and any other factor arjuna is requesting that please krishna kindly show your universal form manyase yadi tachakyam maya drishtum iti prabho yogeshwara tato me tvam darshayatmanam avyayam if you think that i am able to behold your cosmic form o my lord o master of all mystic power then kindly show me that universal self so this attitude is very nice manyate yadi tat shakyam if you think i am capable sometimes people they challenge that can you show me god so once when uh, shri prabhupad was challenged in similar fashion can you show me god because prabhupad is talking about god So Prabhupad told, "Yes, I can show you." And then Prabhupad pointed towards his all sannyasi other disciples, "But you have to become like them. Then I will show you." So then people shy away. If you want to see a big man, you have to be qualified. The heads of the state, 
of government they don't meet ordinary people so if you want to see god yes you can see but there is qualification required ordinary people cannot understand kunti maran is telling tatha paramahansa nam muni nam amalatma nam bhakti yoga vidhanartham katham pashyema histriya tatha paramahansa nam the most advanced personalities are called paramahansa who are beyond varnashram system so when a person takes sanyas then also he can just understand if he is a perfect sanyasi that i am not the body gradually he can come to that platform but unless somebody is paramhansa completely beyond the clutches of nature one cannot understand the personality of god tatha paramhansa nam muni nam amalatmana so the most advanced sages paramhansas munis means very very thoughtful sages amalatmana means those who are completely pure in the heart there is no lust and there is no greed in the heart bhakti yog vidhanartham they understand you by following the regulative principles of bhakti yoga kunti marani is telling katham pashyam histri i am a woman i have so many worldly attachments so how will i understand i am attached to vrishnis kunti marani is telling i am attached to pandavas so mother side and uh, the side of husband woman has two relationships so either from the mother side or from the children side husband sides both these attachment kunti marani is telling please cut my attachment as long as a person is materially attached there is no question of realizing god so first of all we need to have complete material detachment complete purity of heart one should be very very intelligent very thoughtful and one should be beyond the control of laws of nature and then by executing bhakti yoga following the rules and regulations very very strictly one can understand the supreme personality of god so one has to become very qualified thus arjuna is not impudent like modern people without any qualification they want just like a small child even if he or for that matter any other species dog wants to understand calculus trigonometry can we help him understand it is not possible it is not capable so before we challenge play that please show me that we should understand what is my capacity arjuna being very advanced personality he is having all the good qualities like humility and he is telling manya se yadi tat shakyam if you think that i am capable then you please explain it to me this is the mode in which we should understand krishna we should approach the spiritual master not in a challenging spirit श्री भगवाच पश्य मे पार्थरूपाणी शतशोत सहस्रश नाना विधा दिव्यानी च द ब्लेसिड लॉर्ड सेड माय डियर अर्जुना ओ सन ऑफ प्रिथा बिहोल्ड नाउ माय ऑप्युलेंसेस हंड्रेड्स ऑफ थाउजेंड्स ऑफ वेरी डिवाइन फॉर्म्स multicolored like the sea pashya dityan vasun rudran ashvinau marutas tatha bahunya drishta purvani pashya charyani bharata o best of the bharatas see here the different manifestations of adityas Rudras and all the demigods behold the many things which no one has ever seen or heard before Eha ekastham jagat kritsnam pashyadya sacharacharam mam dehe guda kesha yachanya drashtam ichhasi Whatever you wish to see can be seen all at once in this body this universal form can show you all that you now desire as well as whatever you may desire in the future everything is here completely so nobody has been able to see everything of the universe or even of this planet in one place but by the mercy of the supreme who has created everything this vision was made possible for arjuna 
So Krishna is telling Arjuna, you can see everything that you may desire to see. Sitting in one place, Arjuna is able to see all the universes. There are so many universes and all the universes, including past, present and future, because time is also energy of Krishna. So Arjun was able to see all the universes. Arjun was able to see past, present and future. So how is it possible? It might be difficult for us to comprehend who can but perceive three dimensions. But we have to understand that the world is not just made up of three dimensions. As uh, if we consider living entities who can only perceive two dimensions. For them, if they want to conceive a sphere, a cuboid, they can never do so. It is not possible. So if a sphere passes from their plane, they will have different understandings, different perceptions of it. When the sphere is just those who know uh, little basic mathematics and projections, they might be able to understand. So if the sphere passes the plane, let us uh, assume there is a world which is only in two dimensions and the living entities cannot perceive anything beyond the two dimensions, that plane. So when the sphere is touching that 2D plane, they will perceive it as a point. And when the sphere is passing from that plane, then that point will expand as a disk. And then when the circle has crossed 50%, then they will tell, oh, the disk is shrinking. And finally, it will become a point. And when the sphere has completely passed their plane, they will tell, oh, it has vanished. The disk has vanished. But actually, the sphere was never a disk. Because they can only perceive disks, two-dimensional forms. They are defining it as a disk. But sphere is sphere. It is not possible in two-dimensional perspective to conceive what is sphere. For example, now we see three-dimensional objects. There is length, width and height as we can see of this book or of any object whatsoever. If somebody tells us, can you perceive fourth dimension? So we cannot conceive what can be fourth, length, breadth and height, that's it. So our brains are not designed to conceive of any dimension beyond the three, length, width and height. So in a similar fashion, the 2D living entities cannot perceive of anything, any object which is having three dimensions. So in a similar fashion, we may tell Krishna or Krishna is an ordinary human being. He is having two hands and two legs and like that. And uh, Krishna's body is growing and all these things we will tell. But that is not fact. Reality is very, very different. And for instance, we tell that our body is growing. But Vedas do not tell our bodies are growing. Vedas tell our bodies are changing every moment. Just like we see in a movie hall. So many frames, it is called motion pictures. So many pictures, they are in motion. They pass in the front of projector. Uh, sometimes I think the rate is up to 50 or 30 frames per second. 50 or 30 small frames, small pictures, they pass very swiftly. And so we think the hands and legs are moving. On the screen, we see dynamism, the video. What is video? Video is nothing but collection of many, many small photos, small pictures, individual static pictures, which pass very quickly. In second, in a similar fashion, we are changing our bodies every moment. So likewise, scientists can have so many subject matters of research and discovery if they read the Vedas, so proper research can be carried out on this. Now they are telling we are changing our bodies every seven years, every cell of the body is changed. So Vedas is telling no, not seven years, every moment you are changing your body. Next moment our body has become changed, although it appears like the previous body. Just like the next picture has come in the front of projector. And that picture is completely different from the one which has passed previous to it. It is completely different. But we think, oh, the hand is moving, hand is not moving. There is one picture where hand is like this, then hand is like this. And we see the motion of hand. Actually, we are seeing so many frames passing. In a similar fashion, we are seeing so many bodies passing. It is a state of flux that we are in. Likewise, our perception of the world is very different from the reality. That is why Krishna told, Jnanam te hamsa vijnanam idam vakshyami asheshataha. I will explain you phenomenon and I will explain you noumenon. What you perceive is happening and what actually happens. 
So what actually happens, only Krishna can tell us. That is his creation. So thus a sphere is sphere. We can never understand the two dimensional living entities. They will tell it is, oh, a disc has taken birth. It is point sized. Then disc is increasing. Disc is growing. Disc is shrinking. That is never disc. What is growing and shrinking is simply passing a sphere through your plane. So we should never try to define reality as per what we are perceiving. So sitting in one place, by Krishna's mercy, Arjuna was able to see everything. Just like if a person rises above that 2D plane, one can see everything what is existing on that two-dimensional world, simply by rising above in higher dimension. In a similar fashion, uh, by Krishna's mercy, an ordinary living entity also becomes capable of such perception. How was this perception? Let us try to understand. From whatever we can understand as per the revelation what Sanjay also was able to see. So exact vision is not possible. As far as possible, he has tried to relate to us the things. Natumam shakya se drashtum ane naiva svachakshusha divyam dadami te chakshuhu pashyame yoga maishwaram But you cannot see me with your present eyes. Therefore, I give to you divine eyes by which you can behold my mystic opulence. So as we have been discussing, our eyes are designed to perceive the world in a certain way. So now Krishna is giving Divyam Te Chakshuhu, divine eyes to Arjuna, by which he will be able to see divine vision is given to Arjuna. Sanjaya Uvacha Eva Muktva Tato Rajan Mahayogeshwaro Harihi Darshayamasa Parthaya Paramam Rupa Maishwaram Sanjaya said, O King, speaking thus, the Supreme, the Lord of all mystic power, the personality of Godhead displayed his universal form to Arjuna. Anekavaktra Nayanam Anekadbhuta darshanam, aneka divya bharanam, divya nekodhyatayudham, divya malyam baradharam, divya gandhanulepanam, sarvascharyamayam devam, anantam vishvato mukham. Arjuna saw in that universal form unlimited mouths and unlimited eyes. It was all wondrous. The form was decorated with divine, dazzling ornaments and arrayed in many garbs. He was garlanded gloriously and there were many scents smeared over his body. All was magnificent, all expanding, unlimited. This was seen by Arjuna. Divi Surya Sahasrasya Bhaved Yugapaduthita Yadi bhasadrashi sasyat bhasas tasya mahatmanaha. If hundreds of thousands of suns rose up at once into the sky, they might resemble the effulgence of the Supreme Person in that universal form. So, although it is not possible to describe exactly because we cannot conceive, but still, he is comparing the situation to what we have seen here. We have seen one sun. So he's telling, you can just imagine if hundreds and thousands of suns rise in the sky, what would be the effulgence, such as the effulgence coming out of that universal form of the Lord. Tatra ekastham jagat kritsnam ravi bhaktam manekadha apashyad deva devasya sharire pandavastada At that time, Arjuna could see in the universal form of the Lord the unlimited expansions of the universe situated in one place, although divided into many, many thousands. So unlimited universes Arjuna is able to see sitting in one place. Tatasa vismaya vishto rishtaro madhanan jayaha pranamya shirasa devam Pritanjalil Abhashata. Then, bewildered and astonished, 
his hair standing on end arjuna began to pray with folded hands offering obeisances to the supreme lord arjuna uvacha pashyami devas tav deva dehe sarvastata bhut vishesh sanghan ब्रह्मीशम कमलासनस्थम ऋषिश्च सर्वानुर्गाश दिव्या अर्जुन सेड माय डियर लॉर्ड कृष्णा आई सी असेंबल टुगेदर इन योर बॉडी ऑल द डेमी गॉड्स एंड वेरियस अदर लिविंग एंटिटीज आई सी ब्रह्मा सिटिंग ऑन द लोटस फ्लावर एज वेल एज लॉर्ड शिवा एंड मेनी सेजेस एंड डिवाइन सर्पेंट्स सो एट द बॉटम ऑफ द यूनिवर्स गर्भदक्षाय विष्णु इज लाइंग ऑन द वासुकी बेड एंड ऑन टॉप ऑफ द यूनिवर्स इज लॉर्ड ब्रह्मा हिमसेल्फ हु इज सिटिंग ऑन द हु इज मैनिफेस्टेड ऑन द लोटस फ्लावर सो दस वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड अर्जुन वॉज एबल टू सी एवरी थिंग इन द यूनिवर्स अनेका बाहु दर वक्त्र नेत्रम पश्यामि त्वाम सर्वतो नंत रूपम नांतम न मध्यम न पुनस्तवादिम पश्यामि विश्वेश्वर विश्वरूप ओ लॉर्ड ऑफ द यूनिवर्स आई सी इन योर यूनिवर्सल बॉडी मेनी मेनी फॉर्म्स बेलीज माउथ्स आईज एक्सपैंडेड विदाउट लिमिट देर इज नो एंड देर इज नो बिगिनिंग एंड देर इज नो मिडिल टू ऑल दिस किरीटिं गदीन चक्रिण चेजो राशि सर्वतो दीप्तिमत पश्या दुर्निरीक्ष समता दीप्ता नलाका द्युतिम प्रमेय यु फॉर्म अडोन विथ वेरियस क्राउंस क्लब्स एंड डिस्क इज डिफिकल्ट टू सी बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स ग्लैरिंग फलजेंस विच इज फायरी an immeasurable like the sun kamaksharam paramam veditavyam tamasya vishvasya param nidhanam tvam avyaya shashvat dharma gopta sanatanastvam purusho mato me you are the supreme primal objective you are the best in all the universes you are inexhaustible and you are the oldest you are the maintainer of religion the eternal personality of godhead again see same word has come in the last line sanatanastvam purusho mato me what is arjuna's conclusion when he has seen this form he is telling sanatanah you are eternally purusho mato me so you are the supreme person eternal person so no where it is being mentioned that one energy is there arjuna is not telling oh krishna i am seeing just one energy spread everywhere he is telling so many forms and i am seeing that you are eternal personality sanatan there was never a time when you were energy and you have become a person no. krishna is telling sanatan means always eternally you are a purush it is not that you were energy that energy has descended in the form of a purush and you will be dissolved after this form disappears so please always we have to understand this very important point because some people have told ultimate truth is simply one energy this has brought a catastrophe in the life of people catastrophe a disaster in the life of people now nobody takes interest in spiritual life because we all want happiness we all want relations we want interactions we like to eat we like to watch beautiful forms we like to hear nice music we like to talk we like to socialize and all these activities so we have to understand ultimate truth cannot be simply dead energy in activity if soul is so much active within the body now within the body we are conditioned if the soul goes in the body of tree cannot even move just in one place one has to stand in human form of life there is more freedom in the form of devtas higher form freedom increases much more so even though one is conditioned by the body you find in jail a prisoner who is having very heavy iron shackles and still he is shaking his hands and legs so you can just imagine if he gets free how much active he will be 
so within this body the soul is so active when the soul leaves the body how can it become inactive energy no the soul becomes much more active outside of this body so we have to understand this important point the sensual perception activity is the perception and activity of the soul eyes are just like cameras so how does this philosophy make sense that soul is not a person soul is simply some energy like electrical energy it is sitting within no so this body is not the soul is not just like battery which you put in a robot and then the robot starts walking and talking and all such things like that the robots do not have feelings but we have feelings we are thinking we have uh, thinking feeling willing perceptions so these feelings are because we are not just like one battery we are person and actually we are having perceptions which are received through this body now the eyes are just like cameras if the soul has no capacity to see a blind person cannot see even through the best of the cameras best of the lenses a person needs to have capacity to see then camera lens binoculars microscope can be used to perceive the world so the soul has got capacity to see so it is able to see through these eyes you remove the eyes put another set of eyes soul will start seeing through those eyes in a similar fashion through this skin the soul is feeling the touch sensation if the soul has no faculty of touching you give the best of the skins very active skin soul will not be able to perceive touch if the soul does not have capacity to hear you give best of the ears soul will never be able to hear you give the best of the earphones best of the musical devices speakers and you play it to the person who is deaf one cannot hear the earphones make sense only when a person has capacity to hear so it is simple to understand right this body is a machine and we have got the capacity i can hear the voice through my phone i can hear the voice directly because i can see if i am deaf i don't have sense of hearing you bring the best of the things gadgets with best sound quality i will not be able to hear so the soul has capacity to hear to see to socialize to talk to joke now the question is these feature soul has got because they must be present in the super soul in the origin so unless the origin has got these qualities the products cannot have it so origin should have all those things which we have plus many things which are not present in the soul ocean should have everything that is present in a drop and many things which are not present in the drop but at least whatever is present in the drop should be present in ocean the salt which is present in the drop should be present in ocean other chemicals which are present in drop must be present in ocean in a similar fashion all the features that we have we have borrowed from our origin devesh jagan nidhanam he is devesha he is the controller of all the lords controller of all the demigods he is their origin adi devam so origin should have all the features so god is a person we have tendency to construct a house to live in nice uh, big palatial building this tendency is coming because god also should have this tendency we have tendency to socialize with our friends and family because god also has got this tendency we produce children so that we can live together with our children and have a nice family life because god also should have this tendency so we are all children of god so it is very simple to understand god expects that we should live with god very happily in a loving relationship and that is the purpose of creation that brings ultimate satisfaction to god and brings satisfaction to us also so if we tell spiritual life means one energy and we have to simply go and merge this also can be done krishna is very merciful if you do not want active spiritual life krishna is such a merciful kind father he is telling you don't want to serve me you simply want to merge and remain in zero activity that state also i will provide but you will realize you are not satisfied even in that state so for ordinary people who want activity there is great hope that spiritual life is full of much more activity and those activities are completely full of pleasure so for this we have to understand read the literatures like bhagavad gita where in every other shloka it is written purusha purusha anadir adir govinda sarv karan karanam the cause of all causes the energy which is there everywhere as krishna will tell brahmano hi pratishtham that brahma jyoti is situated on me 
not that I have come from Brahma Jyoti. That is not fact. So here again, Sanatanastvam Purusho Matome. You are Sanatan Purush. You are eternally a person. Anadi Madhyanta Mananta Viryam Ananta Bahum Shashi Surya Netram Pashyamitvam Dipta Hutasha Vaktram Vatejasa Vishwamidam Tapantam You are the origin without beginning, middle or end. You have numberless arms and the sun and moon are among your great unlimited eyes. By your own radiance, you are heating this entire universe. Dhyava prathivyo ridamantaram hi Vyatvam tvayay kena dishascha sarvaha Drishtvad bhutam rupa mugram tavedam Lokatrayam pryavyathitam mahatman Although you are one, you are spread throughout the sky and the planets and all space in between. O Great One, as I behold this terrible form, I see that all the planetary systems are perplexed. Ami hitvam surasangha vishanti Kechid bhita pranjalayo grinanti Swasti tiyukva maharshi siddha sangha Stuvanti tvam stutibhi pushkalabhihi all the demigods are surrendering and entering into you. They are very much afraid and with folded hands, they are singing the Vedic hymns. So Arjuna's vision was not a dream that Arjuna is hallucinating over there because others were also able to see. And Sanjay is describing this thing that in other planetary systems, everybody who was qualified with spiritual vision, they were able to see this universal form of the Lord. So this is the explanation of Sanjay. So not only Arjuna was able to see, Sanjay also was able to see and also he was able to see that in other planetary systems also, other devotees are also, some people are getting fearful, afraid, they are running away. Some people are offering their respects. So in this manner we can understand it's not a hallucination because others in different planets are also able to perceive. Rudra Ditya Vasavoyo Yecha Sadhya Vishveshvi Nau Marutas Choshma Pascha Gandharva Yaksha Surasiddha Sangha Vikshante Tvam Vimsmi I'll repeat Rudra Ditya Vasavoyo Yecha Sadhya Vishveshvi Nau Marutas Choshma Pascha Gandharva Yaksha Surasiddha Sangha Vikshante Tvam Vismitaschaiva Sarve The different manifestations of Lord Shiva, the Adityas, the Vasus, the Sadhyas, the Vishvadevas, the two Ashwins, the Maruts, the forefathers and the Gandharvas, the Yakshas, Asuras, and all perfected demigods are beholding you in wonder. So different species of life in different planets, they are able to see this form in wonder. Rupam Mahatte Bahu Vaktra Netram Mahabaho Bahu Bahu Rupadam Bahu Dharam Bahu Danshtra Karalam Drishtva Loka Pyavyatita Stataham O mighty armed one, all the planets with their demigods are disturbed at seeing your many faces, eyes, arms, bellies, and legs and your terrible teeth, and as they are disturbed, so am I. Nabas prisham deeptamaneka varnam Vyatananam deepta vishala netram Drishtva hitvam pavyatitantaratma Dritim navindami shamam cha Vishnu. O all pervading Vishnu. I can no longer maintain my equilibrium. Seeing your radiant colors fill the skies and beholding your eyes and mouths, I am afraid. Danshtra karalani chate mukhani Drishtvaiva kala nalasannibhani 
दिशो न जाने न लभे च शर्मा प्रसिद्ध देवेश जगन निवासा ओ लॉर्ड ऑफ द लॉर्ड्स ओ रेफ्यूज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड्स प्लीज बी ग्रेशियस टू मी I cannot keep my balance seeing thus your blazing death like faces and awful teeth in all directions I am bewildered Ami chatvam dhritarashtrasya putra sarve sahaiva vanipal sanghai bhishmo drona sut putras tathaso sahasmadiya rapiyodha mukhyai vaktrani te वक्त्राणि ते वक्त्राणी ते विशति दंष्ट्राकला भयानका केचिदिलग्ना दशनाषु संदृश्यंते चूर्णितरुतम ऑल द सन्स ऑफ धृतराष्ट्र अलॉन्ग विद देर अलाइट किंग्स एंड भीष्मा द्रोणा एंड कर्णा and all our soldiers are rushing into your mouths their heads smashed by your fearful teeth i see that some are being crushed between your teeth as well as krishna told before displaying this form to arjuna you will be able to see whatever you desire so arjuna was desiring to see the outcome of the battle so thus arjuna is seeing that all the soldiers are entering into the mouth of this universal form and uh, all the elements of the opposing party including the most powerful warriors bhishma drona sutputra karna all of them are going to die including the soldiers of the pandava side but pandavas only will remain so this future arjuna is able to see yatha nadi nam bahavo mbuvega समुद्रम एवाभिमुखा द्रवंती तथा तवामी नरलोकवीरा विशंति वक्त्राणि अभिविज्वलन्ति एज द रिवर्स फ्लो इनटू द सी सो ऑल दीस ग्रेट वॉरियर्स एंटर योर ब्लेजिंग माउथ्स एंड पेरिश यथा प्रदीप्तम ज्वलनम पतंगा विशंति नाशाय समृद्ध वेगा तथा नाशाय विशंति लोकास्वापि वक्त्राणि समृद्ध वेगा आई सी ऑल पीपल रशिंग विथ फुल स्पीड इन टू योर माउस एज मॉथ्स डैश इन टू अ ब्लेजिंग फायर ले लीयसे ग्रसमाण समताल लोका समग्रान वदनय ज्वलद्भि तेजो भिरापोर्य जगत समग्रम भासस्तवोग्र प्रतपंति विष्णु ओ विष्णु आई सी यू डिवाउरिंग ऑल पीपल इन योर फ्लेमिंग माउथ्स एंड कवरिंग द यूनिवर्स विथ योर इमेजरेबल रेस स्कॉचिंग द वर्ल्ड्स यू आर मैनिफेस्ट आख्या में आख्या मे को भवानुग्रूप नमोस्तु ते देव वर प्रसीद विज्ञा तम नहि प्रजानामि तव प्रवृत्ति ओ लॉर्ड ऑफ लॉर्ड सो फियर्स ऑफ फॉर्म प्लीज टेल मी हु यू आर आई ऑफर माय ओबेसेंसेस अनटू यू प्लीज बी ग्रेशियस टू मी आई डू नॉट नो व्हाट योर मिशन इज and i desire to hear of it shri bhagavan vacha kalosmi lokakshaya krit pravriddho lokan samahartum iha pravrittah rite pitvam na bhavishyanti sarve ye vasthita pratyanikeshu yodha the blessed lord said time i am destroyer of the worlds and i have come to engage all people with the exception of you the pandavas all the soldiers here on both sides will be slain tasmatvam uttishtha yashola bhasva jitva shatrun bhumshva rajyam samriddham mayai vaite nihatav purvam eva 
निमित्तमात्रम भवसव्य साचिन देर फोर गेटअप इन प्रिपेयर टू फाइट आफ्टर कॉन्करिंग यूर एनिमीज यू विल एंजॉय अ फ्लरिशिंग किंगडम दे आर ऑलरेडी पुट टू डेथ बाय माई अरेंजमेंट एंड यू ओ सव्य साचिन कैन बी बट एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट इन द फाइट द्रोण च भीष्म जयद्रथम च पर्ण तथान्यापीरा मैया हता जहिमा व्यतिष्ठा युद्ध स्वजेतासी रणे सपत्ना द ब्लेसिड लॉर्ड सेड ऑल द ग्रेट वॉरियर्स द्रोण भीष्म जयद्रथा कर्ण आर ऑलरेडी डिस्ट्रॉयड सिंप्लीफाइड एंड यू विल वैंक्विश योर एनिमीज so thus every plan here is made by the supreme personality of godhead so these verses are very very important nimitta matram bhav sabya sachan we can only become an instrument everything is happening not a blade of grass moves without the will of the lord as the head of the state decides now we have to wage a war now all those people who follow the directions they fight they are given gallantry awards medals and so many other benefits if the head of the state decides we have to make this road do this development in the country these should be the policies those people who abide by that who come forward to help the government in that effort they are recognized for their duties and they are given good posts money and all success but if somebody tries to go against the will of the state or that of the ruler then one will be frustrated so we have to understand first what is the mission of the lord and then try to act according to that mission then our life will be glorious otherwise if we have our own calculation like arjuna was planning arjuna was thinking if i do not fight then they will continue to live arjuna had his calculation if i do not fight then they will continue to live and then we will have a happy life my soldiers are there alive the soldiers on the other party will be alive and uh, then they will take care of their families children dharma will be established arjuna was putting forth so many logics and it is it appears logical also that if this all these people are killed the men and the elderly people of the society who will be there who will protect the dharma pass on this tradition this knowledge who will protect women what will happen to the society but arjuna was not knowing all of them were destined to be killed that is what krishna told all of them have been destined to be killed as per my plan now you can take the credit by being an instrument so whatever is going to happen nobody can stop it as per the direction of material energy things will happen so we should never plan anything for material happiness keeping our spiritual life aside those plans are not going to work but we should understand what is krishna's ultimate mission and that is to give this knowledge to the people and if we dovetail the activities of our life according to that plan then our life is glorious so otherwise if arjuna would not have followed krishna he would not have got the glory of defeating such great fighters who were many many times more powerful than arjuna arjuna would not have been able to rule over the world in this planet and there is no question of any other enjoyment whatsoever because all of them anyway would have been killed so it would not have been possible for arjuna either to get fame as a great warrior who was able to defeat the people who were many many times more powerful than him he would not have been able to enjoy the kingdom he would not even have been able to enjoy the relatives they anyway would have been killed and he would have become inglorious to disobey krishna he would have fought not according to the instructions of krishna but then he would have created karma for himself he would have undergone many many repeated births and deaths so thus we should not think oh let me save some time and this time i can invest in my material well being no sir that time is anyway going to go away from us we should not think oh let me save this money this resource i'll use for my enjoyment no so that is why the shastra tell 50% of your income one should spend for the welfare of others so if we are uh, krishna conscious we should understand this is the best welfare activity we should use for that 
otherwise also for welfare purpose we should use this is how the world has been designed the intelligence should be used to guide the people who are less intelligent so it is the responsibility of all the intelligent people they should understand what is truth because less intelligent people cannot and explain them what is truth so that they can understand just like now also we see some intelligent people who can do research so there is uh, some virus some disease they want to find out the cause and then by their research work they are able to help many many people who could not do research and all those ordinary people do not have capacity do not have time do not have resources to do such research so those who can do research should help people who cannot now there is attack on the country so those people who have strength who have weapons who have training should defend others who cannot fight in this way one skills resources should be used in the service of others in this way the nature is balanced very nicely this we have discussed many times before so please i request one should never never have this tendency that is why krishna has told dure na hi avaram karma this is abominable mental i repeat durena hi avaram karma this is abominable mentality that let me enjoy everything how just see everyone is doing that whatever they are earning they want to win. this is not right so the vedas are telling if you want to have a nice life 50% of your income should be used for welfare activity and if we are wise we should use for the best welfare activity spreading this confidential knowledge by which people can get permanent happiness so otherwise that money will cause distress to us that will cause disease and we'll spend in the fees of the doctor or uh, some legal case will happen lawyer may take away or some other disturbances can happen or we'll spend in sense gratification which gives evanescent pleasure for a while but we are never satisfied so thus it is being told we should understand plan of the lord and then become just an instrument in that plan because whatever is happening as per the plan of the lord lord's plan will always be successful so if the devotee follows that not only materially he is very nicely taken care but there is also spiritual success in every respect sanjaya uvacha eta shrutva vachanam keshavasya kritanjalir vepamana kiriti नमस्कृत भूय एवाह कृष्ण स गदीत भीत प्रणम्य संजय से टू धृत राष्ट्र ओ किंग आफ्टर हियरिंग दीज वर्ड्स फ्रॉम द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड अर्जुन ट्रेम्बल्ड फ्यूफुली ऑफर्ड ओबे सिंसियर विथ फोल्डेड हैंड्स एंड बिगेन फॉल्टरिंगली टू स्पीक एज फॉलोज अर्जुन उवाच स्थाने ऋषिकेश तव प्रकर्तिया जगत प्रहृष्यत्युरज्यते रक्षासी भीता दिशो द्रवंती सर्वे नमस्यती च सिद्ध संघा ओ ऋषिकेश द वर्ल्ड बिकम्स जॉयफुल अपॉन हियरिंग योर नेम एंड दस एवरी वन बिकम्स अटैच टू यू Although the perfected beings offer you their respectful homage the demons are afraid and they flee here and there all this is rightly done So important word which is used here is jagat prahrishyati anurajyate cha The world becomes joyful upon hearing your name and thus everyone becomes attached to you So there is so much joy in chanting the names of Krishna it is this pleasure which we have to discover so all the kings who are very very rich and recent example we have gautam buddha born in princely order but then he renounced all such opulences so these words are very important jagat prahrishyati anurajyate cha by hearing your name it fills everyone's heart with joy So hearing chanting about Krishna is the source of extraordinary happiness to get this happiness to get this brahma sukha unlimited happiness people the great kings who are very very rich they would renounce everything as mera bhai asang payo ji maine naam ratan dhan payo i have got this valuable jewel of singing the glories of your holy name 
बट इन आर स्टेट इन कंडीशन स्टेट ऑफ लाइफ वेन विथिंग आई एम द बॉडी देन पित्तोपतप्त रसन से न रोचिकानो जॉन डिस पेशेंट वी हैव डिस्कस द एग्जाम्पल वील फाइंड इट बेटर बट वी हैव टू प्रैक्टिस जस्ट कीप ऑन चैंटिंग एंड हियरिंग ऑलवेज थ्रू आउट द डे एज मच एज पॉसिबल एंड स्लोली वेन आर मटीरियल एडिक्शंस आर गेटिंग वॉश्ड ऑफ वेन आर हार्ट इज ऑलमोस्ट प्यूरिफाइड देन वी विल डेवलप अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग फेथ एंड वेन वी डेवलप द स्ट्रॉन्ग फेथ दैट फेथ ट्रांसफॉर्म्स ग्रेजुअली इन टू टेस्ट एंड देन दिस होली नेम विल बी सो मच प्रेजेंट नाउ वी आर ट्राइंग टू अरेंज सो मेनी थिंग्स फॉर आर प्लेजर बट ऑल दोज थिंग्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू अरेंज वी आर इन स्ट्रेस एंड इवन इफ यू हैव इट द डिमांड इज ऑलवेज मोर नाउ आई वॉन्ट वन मिलियन देन आई वॉन्ट टू मिलियन डॉलर देन टेन मिलियन डॉलर हार्ट इज नेवर सेटिस्फाइड एंड जस्ट इमेजिन इफ यू डेवलप टेस्ट इन चैंटिंग द नेम्स ऑफ कृष्णा एनी वेयर एंड एवरी वेयर यू कैन जस्ट चैंट एंड अब्जॉर्ब योर सेल्फ इन अनलिमिटेड हैप्पीनेस इज इट नॉट वेरी वेरी लॉजिकल वे ऑफ रिमेनिंग ब्लिसफुल यू नीड नॉट अरेंज एनी थिंग यू कैन सिंपली चैंट एंड हियर द नेम्स ऑफ कृष्णा एंड यू आर अब्जॉर्ब इन इमेंस ब्लिस सो दिस इज वॉट इज द एम ऑफ लाइफ टू डिवेलप बट इट टेक्स सम टाइम वन हैज टू प्रैक्टिस सम ऑस्टेरिटी इज रिक्वायर्ड क्लिनलीनेस इज रिक्वायर्ड फोर रेगुलेटिव प्रिंसिपल्स वी हैव टू फॉलो प्लीज द स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर वर्क हार्ड फॉर कृष्णा सैक्रीफाइस फॉर कृष्णा and then when we get the taste of this holy name then we will realize there is nothing more pleasurable than this kasma chate na nameran mahatman gariyase brahmano pyadi karte ananta devesha jagan nivasa tam aksharam sat asat tat param yat o great one who stands above even brahma You are the original master. Why should they not offer their homage up to you, O limitless one, O refuge of the universe? You are the invincible source, the cause of all causes, transcendental to this material manifestation. So it is important the word which is used here. All the words are important, and this new term which we have read here is sat asat tat param yat. Sat and asat means cause and effect. so you are both beyond the cause and the effect of this material world which we see so krishna's body is not the effect of any fusion of chemicals male and female gametes you are beyond the cause and effect our bodies are the result of some cause and effect of this world so very clearly arjuna is again stressing the nature of krishna's body it is transcendental tam aksharam sat asat tat param yat tamadi devav purushav puranas तमस्य विश्वस्य परम निधानम वेत्ता वेद्यम च परम च धामा वया ततम विश्व मनंत रूप यू आर द ओरिजिनल पर्सनैलिटी द गॉड हेड यू आर द ओनली सेंचुरी ऑफ दिस मैनिफेस्टेड कॉस्मिक वर्ल्ड यू नो एवरीथिंग एंड यू आर ऑल दैट इज नोएबल यू आर अबव द मटीरियल मोड्स ओ लिमिटलेस फॉर्म द होल कॉस्मिक मैनिफेस्टेशन is pervaded by you vayuryamognir varuna shashankah prajapatistvam rapitamahascha namo namaste stu sahasra kritvah punascha bhuyo pi namo namaste you are air fire water and you are the moon you are the supreme controller and the grandfather Thus I offer my respectful obeisances unto you a thousand times and again and yet again. Namah purasta dat prishtha taste namostu te sarvata eva sarva ananta virya mit vikramastvam sarvam samapnoshi tato si sarvah obeisances from the front from behind and from all sides O unbounded power you are the master of limitless might you are all pervading and thus you are everything Sakheti matva prasabham yaduktam e krishna he yadava he sakheti ajanata mahimanam tavedam maya pramadat pranayena vapi यच्चावहासाथमसत्तोसी 
विहारशय्यासन भोजनेशु एकोथवापि अच्युत तत्सम I have in the past addressed you as O Krishna, O Yadava, O my friend, without knowing your glories. Please forgive whatever I may have done in madness or in love. I have dishonored you many times while relaxing or while lying on the same bed or eating together, sometimes alone and sometimes in front of many friends. Please excuse me for all my offenses. So this is very important. Arjuna was a very close friend of Krishna. They are lying together on the same bed, playing together. Sometimes Arjuna would make fun of Krishna, and now he is seeing what is Krishna's opulence. So there are various stages of relationship. The relationship of Krishna it begins with Dasaras. So there is very nice shloka in Srimad Bhagavatam. Itham satam brahma sukhanu bhutya Dasyam gatanam paradaivatena Maya shritanam naradarakena Sakam vijaharu krita punya punjaha It means Krishna the Supreme Personality of Godhead is perceived as Brahma Jyoti by some sages. Itham satam brahma sukhanu bhutya they think this is impersonal energy who has taken this form. Dasyam gatanam paradaivatena Others who are enlightened, more enlightened, they act as servants of the God. And they perceive you as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, paradaivatena. So your devotees who render loving service to you perceive you as Supreme Personality and yet others who are very foolish Maya Shritanam, who have taken shelter of illusory energy of Krishna, who are under control of this material nature, Naradarakena, they think you are an ordinary human being. But all of them, they do not know Sakam Vijaharu Krita Punya Punjaha. This is explained in context of the cowherd boys, Krishna's friends, who are playing with Krishna just like an ordinary playmate. And sometimes they carry Krishna on their shoulders, sometimes Krishna is carrying them on his shoulders. They laugh at Krishna, they make fun of Krishna, they tease Krishna. So all these people cannot imagine. Here Arjuna is frightened. He is offering respects from all the sides, front, back and everywhere. And he is uh, with folded hands, he is offering various prayers. But these people, they do not offer prayers to Krishna. They make fun of Krishna. The gopis are there in Vrindavan, they scold Krishna like anything, they chastise Krishna, somebody scolding God. A form so fearful that all the powerful warriors of all the sides, they are entering within his mouth, getting smashed in between his teeth. So how somebody can ride on his shoulder and make fun of him and be very so intimate like this? So this is the most exalted form of devotional service. That is why it is revealed in the Shastra as Krishna is telling, the bhakti, which is in knowledge of my opulences, does not satisfy me. That is the bhakti which is happening in the Vishnu Loka. Krishna is having his Narayan form, 400 forms. In the spiritual world, Tripada Vibhuti, there are so many planets. And because this material world is a reflection, we will see in the 15th chapter. Urdhumulam adhoshakam ashvattham prahur avyayam. This material world is a reflection. We are telling that this is illusion. But illusion should be based on reality. In dream, we talk with some people. We meet with many men. We eat, we touch, we laugh. Because there is existence of such people and phenomena in this world. Gross world. Thus, this gross world, if we are calling it illusion, on what basis this world is manifest? If everything is simply energy, the origin, why energy has taken the shape of man, woman, male and female species and so many species? Why energy would ever take the form of dog, an elephant, giraffe, fish? No. So, in spiritual world, these forms are existing. The spirit has got all these forms. Krishna has got all these forms. And all these forms are reflected in this material world. It is perverted reflection. Just like we have computer games. They are perverted reflection of the reality that we have here. Here we want to drive cars, we want to sometimes fight, 
and the same activities you can repeat in the computer game that is simulation same thing krishna mentions urdhamulam adhashakham this material world is reflection of the original reality so you have to go to the original reality so in the spiritual world in a similar fashion just like we have here living entities families societies it exists but they are permanent they are eternal and they are existing just to give pleasure to krishna krishna is the center of all the relationships and in all the so many vaikuntha planets lord narayan is the presiding personality He lives there with four handed forms with a club and discus in his hand lotus flower and conch shell and no ordinary person can have 400 forms is all opulence are there so many servants are there around his majesty is there so in this great knowledge of his opulence some devotees like to worship that form like narad muni spiritual master of ved vyas he likes to worship god in this form of opulence so that is personal choice also god has many forms any form can be worshiped but krishna tells the worship which is done in opulence it does not satisfy me and this tendency is also natural as many people tell when they become successful the suddenly these steep people are just uh, mobbing around them they are getting calls they are trying to be friendly people want to have relationships some powerful people who are in office they would get the gifts on festivals and other important days as soon as they retire nobody cares for them so in this material world if a person is opulent then automatically he or she will attract people around them but they also know that these people are coming to me for opulence not just for myself for my love for my relationship thus krishna tells this kind of bhakti does not actually satisfy me the real bhakti is done when a person is forgetful of the opulence of krishna thus in vrindavan people do not recognize here when krishna came in vrindavan there is vrindavan in spiritual world also the topmost planet so there the devotees are in forgetful state they do not know that krishna is supreme lord so the state is same of a person who is very ignorant and the state is same for the very elevated paramhansa both behave like madmen very exalted paramhansa they may also behave like madmen like bharat maharaj who was ruler of the entire world he had to become deer and his next life because of small attachment to deer so in the second life which he took he became a madman voluntarily even though he was very wise he was aware of his past to birds but he understood if i show some wisdom here again they will entangle me in the affairs of this material world so he started behaving like a madman and like this all the great many great personalities who would renounce they would become indifferent just sometimes roaming without clothes and sometimes behaving madly so that people do not disturb them nobody likes to talk to madmen and they understand if i talk nicely behave nicely people will come to me and uh, i will feel oh they love me i will have affection for them and nobody has affection for a mad person so thus any love any affection that we see in this material world that is because of these external designations opulences that we acquire and people understand i am here just for a short while the shukde goswami he was having all the siddhis but moved out of his house he was not willing to come to this material world and when he came to the material world he walked out immediately they are very cautious not to have entanglement in this material world otherwise repeated birth and death will take place so the most ignorant person who is become mad by excessive material desires sometimes they are found in the mental hospitals they are also mad so the situation of this material world miserable state it is felt by the people who are in between those who are highly tamasic they don't feel even though they are suffering but they do not understand that they are suffering they are so much in ignorance and those people who are paramhansas very elevated spiritualists they are also not feeling the pangs of this material existence it is meant for people who are in between not highly in ignorance nor very very advanced in spiritual understanding in a similar fashion those who are in ignorance they do not know krishna is god and even those people who are very advanced they also do not know krishna is god then why do they serve krishna so they have cultivated knowledge of god so it does not mean that okay so krishna is satisfied if somebody does not know i will not know about krishna i will not bother about this philosophy no we have to understand philosophy 
because when we understand these opulences we become attached to krishna and in this attachment when we start serving krishna then attachment becomes spontaneous and that we can see even in this material world people may get attracted because of opulence but even though sometimes the opulence is not there i married a very beautiful life partner they met with an accident but still i have some affection for them crude example i am giving so in a similar fashion even though we are getting attracted to krishna because of the opulence we are engaging in the service but under the guidance of proper spiritual master we have to aspire for a stage where this service this attraction becomes spontaneous then i don't bother whether krishna is having opulence or not my only desire is just to serve krishna and when i reach that spontaneous level of affection then we can actually understand who is krishna otherwise it is not possible to know krishna so thus this is a very high state of affairs worship of krishna it is very very confidential knowledge of lord vishnu lord vishnu is uh little more accessible if we worship with rules and regulations very nicely then we can attain the service of lord vishnu but unless we develop this spontaneous attitude we cannot attain worship of krishna so thus even those people who are worshiping lord narayan acting as a servants they do not know that there is another class of devotees who ride on the shoulders of god sakam virjaru krit punya punja that is mentioned in bhagavatam this is the most elevated state of affairs so arjuna was situated on that platform of friendship so he was mocking at krishna making fun of krishna sometimes alone sometimes in front of other friends so now as soon as he seeing the opulence that is why krishna does not show opulence to his devotees when yashoda saw so many universes in the mouth of krishna he started thinking oh krishna is supreme personality but krishna made her forget to so if yashoda knows krishna is supreme personality then that affection motherly affection will not be there so krishna wants that i am taking care of the whole world somebody should take anxiety for me for feeding me for dressing me for taking my care that gives satisfaction to krishna so thus that knowledge of opulence when it was shown to arjuna arjuna started offering respects begging pardon so this krishna does not want to happen with the most exalted devotees the most exalted devotees they do not bother krishna is god or not i just want to serve krishna spontaneously i love doing this seva this is the most perfect state of spiritual affairs which was exhibited by the virjavasis pitasi lokasya chara charasya tamasya pujyascha gurur gariyan natvat samo asti abhyadika kutonyo lokatraye api aprtima prabhava you are the father of this complete cosmic manifestation the worshipable chief the spiritual master no one is equal to you nor can anyone be one with you within the three worlds you are immeasurable tasmat pranamya pranidhaya kayam prasadaye tva mahamisha midyam piteva putrasya sakheva sakhyu priyah priya yar hasi dev sodhum you are the supreme lord to be worshiped by every living being thus i fall down to offer you my respects and ask your mercy please tolerate the wrongs that i may have done to you and bear with me as a father with his son or as a friend with his friend or a lover with his beloved अदृष्टपूर्व ऋषिस्म दृष्ट भयन च प्रव्यथि मनो मे तदेव मे दर्शय दसीद देश जगन्निवास आफ्टर सीन दिस यूनिवर्सल फॉर्म विच आई हेव नेवर सीन बिफोर आई एम ग्लैड एंड बट एट द सेम टाइम माई माइंड इज डिस्टर्ब विथ फियर देर फोर प्लीज बेस्टो योर ग्रेस अपॉन मी and reveal again your form as the personality of godhead o lord of lords o abode of the universe kiritinam gadinam chakra hastam ichhami tvam drashtum maham tathaiva te naiva rupena chatur bhujena sahasra baho bhava vishva murte 
O Universal Lord, I wish to see you in your four-armed form, with helmeted head, with club, wheel, conch, and lotus flower in your hands. I long to see you in that form. Shri Bhagavan Vacha, Maya Prasanne Na Tavarjune Dham, Rupam Param Darshitam Atma Yogat, Tejo Mayam Vishwam Anantam Adhyam, Yan Metvat Annyena Nadrishta Purvam. The Blessed Lord said, My dear Arjuna, Happily do I show you this universal form within the material world by my internal potency. No one before you has ever seen this unlimited and glaringly effulgent form. Na Veda Yagya Dhyayanair Na Danair Na Chakriya Bhir Na Tapo Bhir Ugrae Evam Rupa Shakya Aham Nriloke Drashtum Tvad Annena Kuru Pravira O best of the Kuru warriors, no one before you has ever seen this universal form of mind, for neither by studying the Vedas, nor by performing sacrifices, nor by charities or similar activities can this form be seen. Only you have seen this. So these activities are very important for spiritual revelation. Na Veda Yagya Dhyayanair Na Danair Veda, reading the Vedas is very very important. Yagyas, performing sacrifice, is very important. Danair, giving one's wealth in charity, is very, very important. Nachakriyabhir, na tapobhir, ugra, tapasya, voluntarily accepting discomfort. One has to take so many discomforts to make spiritual advancement. Like Chaturmasya, we have discussed. One has to Eat very simple food sometimes without using hands, just take directly from the floor. You do not shave and take cold water bath always. Sometimes he has to stand neck deep in water. Sometimes he has to sit surrounded by fire in hot sun. In this way, so much of tapasya is recommended. Voluntarily, one should learn how to take discomforts. So these discomforts when voluntarily taken, of course, under guidance of scriptures. If we do without guidance of scriptures, these activities, they give pain to the Lord in the heart because He is our Father ultimately. So if the son is unnecessarily torturing himself, father, mother would feel bad. But if the son is executing hard work in his career, then they feel happy, which is benefiting him for advancement in his life. Thus tapasya guided by the scriptures, Krishna becomes satisfied in that. So tapasya is important. But if you do whimsical tapasya, any day I am fasting, for any reason I am fasting, such things are not recommended. Fasting should be done only for spiritual advancement of life, not for any other reason. Other tapasya also should be guided by the Vedas, but tapasya is important. Thus doing parikrama, we go to pilgrimage spots. Sometimes we do parikrama means circumambulate the entire dham, the pilgrimage spot. Sometimes there are very uh, important manifestations of Krishna like Shyam Kund is there, the holy lake, Radha Kund is there, Govardhan is there, the great mountain which is another manifestation of Krishna. We circumambulate them and it is quite a distance of many kilometers, sometimes 11 kilometers, 25 kilometers and people do happily execute, take this austerity. Sometimes there are some scars and other disturbances on the feet. Sometimes they feel uh, very much disturbed by the weather conditions, many unfavorable situations, but still they execute that. Now, of course, we have many conveyances. Earlier, people would walk. So it would take many, many months to reach that place. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu on his foot. He started from Bengal. He went down to deep into South India. And then he came upwards towards Maharashtra. Then he went again to Jagannath Puri. So for many months, he was traveling on foot. So, so much tapasya was recommended in the Vedas. Nowadays, we do not know this. So even though tapasya has been minimized in Kali Yuga, but this tapasya we should take. It is very important. So reading the Vedas is important. Tapasya is important. Swadhyay, very important. Dana, giving charity, one's own possessions and wealth, that is very important. They help us to understand spiritual life. But by executing these things, no one is able to understand and see this universal form. They are not sufficient for this. 
वन नीड्स टू हैव भक्ति फॉर कृष्णा देन लॉर्ड कृष्णा मेन्शंस माते व्यथा मा च विमूढ़ भावो दृष्ट्वा रूपम घोरम ईद्रिन मेदम व्यपेत भी प्रीत मना पुनस्व तदेव मे रूपम इदम प्रपश्य Your mind has been perturbed upon seeing this horrible feature of mine. Now let it be finished, my devotee. Be free from all disturbance. With a peaceful mind, you can now see the form you desire. Sanjaya uvacha ityarjunam vasu devas tathokva swakam rupam darshaya ma sabhuya. आश्वासयामा स चीतमेन भूवा पुनः सौम्य वपुर महात्मा संजय से टू धृत राष्ट्र द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड एट कृष्णा वाइल स्पीकिंग डस्ट टू अर्जुन डिस्प्लेड हिज रियल फोर आर्म फॉर्म एंड एट लास्ट ही शोड हिम हिज टू आर्म फॉर्म एंड दस एनकरेजिंग द फियरफुल अर्जुन सो अर्जुन वॉन्टेड टू प्रूव टू द वर्ल्ड जस्ट सी this personality before me is not just my friend he is the person he is the time factor who is all pervading he is a universal form so many universes that is his body and also he is the four handed narayan form who enters in this universe to take this universal form thus he requested i have seen universal form the form of time and now please you show me your four handed form so that people understand you only are narayan So Krishna showed that Swami Rupam, that four-handed form. Now Krishna is explaining something very important. Please hear attentively. Arjuna Uvacha, Drishtvedam Manusham Rupam, Tav Swamyam Janardana, Idani Masmi Samvritta, Sacheta Prakritim Gata. When Arjuna thus saw Krishna in his original form he said seeing this human like form so very beautiful my mind is now pacified and i am restored to my original nature Shri Bhagavan uvacha sudurdarsham idam roopam drishtavan asi yanmama deva apyasya roopasya nityam darshan kaankshinah the blessed lord said my dear arjuna the form which you are now seeing is very difficult to behold even the demigods are ever seeking the opportunity to see this form which is so dear so first krishna has explained this universal form which out of love i have shown to you nobody has seen this before na veda yagya adhyayanair cha danair it cannot be seen by reading the vedas by giving charity by doing tapasya and all these things bhakti is required to see this form this is very difficult to behold now krishna is telling this form is sudurdarsham durdarsham means which is difficult to see the universal form now this form which i have shown you he showed his four handed form now manushim rupam as it is explained here दृष्टवेदम मानुषम रूपम तव सौम्यम जनार्दना सो दिस मानुषम रूपम द टू हंड्रेड फॉर्म विच इज सो प्लेजेंट कृष्ण इज टेलिंग सुदुर्दर्शम इदम रूपम दिस रूप ऑफ फॉर्म दृष्टवान सीएन मम दिस फॉर्म इज सुदुर्दर्शम इट इज वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट मच मोर डिफिकल्ट देन द यूनिवर्सल फॉर्म ऑल्सो देवा अभी अस्य रूप से नित्यम दर्शन कांक्षिण ऑलवेज द देवताज ऑल्सो दे आर हैंकरिंग टू सी दिस टू हंड्रेड फॉर्म so here krishna is revealing that this two handed form is the most difficult form to see it is the origin of all other forms and as we have discussed in previous chapter also so many references are there ete chaansh kala punsam krishna stu bhagavan swayam all others shrimad bhagavatam mentions in the first canto that all the others they are kala they are partial expansions plenary portions anshas but the original form is krishna krishna stu bhagwan swayam he swayam bhagwan so krishna takes so many forms but the original form is this two handed form so this is very very confidential because as we have discussed vishnu stu trini rupani 
पुरुषाख्यानी अथो विदु द पुरुष अवतार आज आर थ्री इन नंबर थ्री विष्णुज कारणो दक्षाई विष्णु गर्भो दक्षाई विष्णु एंड क्षीरो दक्षाई विष्णु सो द देवतास कैन अप्रोच द क्षीरो दक्षाई विष्णु दे कैन सी द फोर हंड्रेड फॉर्म्स दैट ऑल्सो नॉट एवरी टाइम दे विल स्टैंड ऑन द बैंक ऑफ द क्षीर सागर दे विल स्टैंड पुरुष सूक्त प्रेयर्स एंड समाइम द हियर द वॉइस ऑफ द लॉर्ड समाइम्स दे आर एबल टू सी द लोटस फीट समाइम्स दे सी द लॉर्ड and sometimes no transmission happens like 5000 years ago kansa is giving so much trouble they went there they want relief but no response then lord brahma sat in meditation and then because brahma is pure devotee of krishna he got instruction from krishna that don't worry tell them i am going to descend so this is the situation but still they can sometimes see the lord he is manifest but krishna is not found within this universe all the conditioned souls including devtas we are there in this universe only we cannot cross go outside but krishna golok ev nivasati akhil atma bhuto he lives in golok vrindavan golok vrindavan is the topmost planet of vaikunth loka the description is given in brahma samhita the description is there in shrimad bhagavatam the description is there in uh, brahmand puran lord ganesha is explaining that Above all the Vishnu Lokas, you'll find Golok Vrindavan, and there is nothing beyond this dham, this planet, where Krishna lives in his two-handed form. And in all the other Vaikuntha Lokas, one can only worship up to Dasya Rasa. So there are five Rasas, five kind of relationships which one has with Krishna. One is relationship in neutrality, that is called Shant Bhav. When we come to the temple, we see the deities, we appreciate the spiritual advancement, we appreciate the form of Krishna. that is shant neutrality passive there is no active service just like fans are there fans are not rendering any service to celebrity but passive service they become so delighted when they see them and obviously the celebrities also they enjoy this when the cricketers would enter the stadium and they would roar shout their names and they feel jubilant and when they retire they miss that feeling so the fans they give pleasure without actively engaging in service this is called shant rasa the relationship with god begins from there that is good but one needs to advance more if you are really a fan go and do something practical for the pleasure of your for your personality for the supreme personality that is called dasya rasa carrying out the orders and in vaikuntha loka the service is restricted up to this level shant rasa dasya rasa because narayan you cannot put your hand around his neck he is supreme lord the king of the kings so with distance in awe and reverence worship is done and there is some rasa of fraternity friendship but that also with distance with awe and reverence close friendship is not at all there that is also very very rare but in golok vrindavan advanced rasas friendship in great intimacy as we saw here sakam vijaru krit punya punja they are playing with krishna making fun of him and then there is one higher rasa which is the actual platform from which lord chatanya he told this is the real service which lord krishna appreciates so much he appreciates everyone there is no difference krishna loves all his devotees equally whether a cow calf is there or shrimati radharani is there but still if we analyze from a neutral perspective there is difference among the rasas for example a man likes his son his daughter his nephews niece uncles aunts cousins brothers sisters parents and so many relationships are there and a man would uh, like to always have all these relationships but still if we analyze the most intimate relationship is the relationship with one spouse that is most intimate and that gives great pleasure to the heart if this pleasure is not there in life other relationships are okay but a man wants this relationship in a similar fashion although krishna likes to be served in all these relationships at the same time the devotees do not like to change their positions also just like the daughter would not like to become mother of the father or wife of the father or brother of the father the daughter would like to remain daughter of father son would like to remain son of his father so they all like their unique relationship they are completely satisfied in that and krishna also wants all these uh relations 
But if we analyze, there is one relationship which is very intimate, which is most desirable, and that is relationship with the spouse. So thus, beyond this relationship of fraternity, friendship is called vasalya rasa. Till there, Krishna is taking care. Now on vasalya platform, Krishna is being taken care. So this is the platform on which Nand Maharaj, Yashoda Mai, they serve Krishna. They are always anxious. So Krishna has been fed or not? So Krishna uh, uh, must be in difficulty or some demon has kidnapped Krishna. They are so much anxious. They are fainting. So they are always worried. Oh Krishna, why Mother Yashoda is scolding Krishna uh, when he gives butter to the monkeys? Because Krishna may go hungry. Monkeys may eat all the butter. So she is getting angry that my son will remain hungry. So she is scolding. So Krishna gets great pleasure in this. The time controlling everyone. I am chastising a miscreants. Somebody chastises me in love. Oh, I get so much of satisfaction. So I am taking care of the whole world. Somebody is taking care of me. Oh, this is so nice. So rather than asking God for service, we should try to give service to the God. Rather than requesting Krishna, please take care of me always. We should have faith that Krishna anyway is taking care of us. We are his part and parcel. We automatically take care of our finger. We take care of our children. That is natural. We need not ask. We need not be selfish and lose faith on Krishna. That Krishna might have got busy somewhere, so we are suffering here. No, Krishna is all knowing, omniscient, all powerful. He can give all protection. So whatever Krishna is doing, devotee is satisfied. If I am suffering, it is okay. I am happy, it is okay. But Krishna, I want to take care of your service only. Please always engage me in your service. This is devotee's demand. Request only request. So Vasalya Rasa, and higher than Vasalya Rasa, parental love is Madhurya Rasa, conjugal relationship. So this is the Rasa which is most intimate, and all these Rasas, high Rasas, they are available. Sakhya Rasa, Vasalya Rasa, and Madhurya Rasa, they are available only in Golok Vrindavan, the topmost planet of the Vakunta Loka, the spiritual world. So this is the. Pleasure which was exhibited by the gopis in Vrindavan, which was experienced by the gopis in Vrindavan. Thus, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told, Ramya Kachit Upasna Vrajvadhu Vargena Ya Kalpita. The highest worship is the worship which is done by the gopis of Vrindavan. So, we should follow the footsteps. Once when Krishna was in difficulty, he had some sickness. So, nobody was able to cure it. So, now they ask, Lord, you are only the Lord, you please tell us what is the remedy. You know everything. So he told, if you bring the dust of the lotus feet of my devotees, put it on my head, that will cure me. Now various devotees were asked, but everybody was hesitant. Dust from my feet I put on God's head, I will go to hell. This is the biggest uh, sin that a person can do. One needs to take dust of Lord from his, uh, on his head. I give dust from my feet to Lord, I will go to hell. No, no, I cannot do this. Finally, when gopis were approached, they told, Oh, please take it. Take truckloads of it. And please, does not matter if Krishna is getting well, we are ready to suffer in hell for unlimited births eternally. But let Krishna get well. So this is devotee's desire. Let me suffer does not matter in the service of Krishna. But if Krishna is pleased in this manner, let me execute this service. This is the mood of the devotees. So thus, this is very great, uh, very confidential revelation. So Durdarsham Idam Rupam, this two-handed form of Krishna, it is found only in Golok Vrindavan in the spiritual world. And once in a day of Brahma, that form is visible here on this planet in Vrindavan, what we see 5000 years ago. So this two-handed form, Manusham Rupam, So Durdarsham Idam Rupam, this is most difficult to be seen. So this revelation is there in Bhagavad Gita also that this form is the topmost, this is the highest because the highest rasas also are available only in this form, not in other forms. And Deva Piya Sirupasya Nityam Darshana Kangshina Thus when Krishna was there in the womb of Deviki, all the devatas they came, Lord Shiva, Lord Brahma, everybody is uh, offering their prayers because this form is very very rare to be seen. Nityam Darshana Kangshina. Devtas can see sometimes Narayan form, but this two handed form is very rare. Once in a day of Brahma only, they can see this. So they are very eager to see. Whenever there is time for appearance, they come and they offer their prayers with folded hands. 
So if you read Bhagavad Gita carefully, so many important revelations we will find here. Na ham vedaya na tapasa na dane na na chejjaya shakya evam vido drashtum drashtavana simam yatha The form which you are seeing with your transcendental eyes cannot be understood simply by studying the Vedas nor by undergoing serious penances nor by charity nor by worship it is not by these means that one can see me as i am so these words are repeated you see na vedaya na tapasa na danena so universal form cannot also be seen by vedas dan and tapasya but other forms can be seen by worship but this formality of worship those people who go to temple and without any affection they are simply doing worship as a matter of rule and regulation so by worship you cannot see this two handed form of krishna this is very rare thus even though we worship radha krishna in the temple but the worship standards are of lakshmi and narayan because radha krishna cannot be uh, worshiped unless a person reaches spontaneous level we just discuss spontaneous level when a person simply is thinking of god day and night and wants to engage in the service of god that is spontaneous worship then radha krishna can be worshiped otherwise radha krishna's deities in the temple they accept the service in the mood of lakshmi and narayan and thus the rules and regulations which we follow for worshiping radha krishna in the beginning that is also the pancharatrika vidhi given to worship lakshmi narayan forms lakshmi narayan forms is with so many rules and regulations like a king you have to be very punctual very clean so many formalities to be observed but in service of krishna no formality like sanatan goswami one of the immediate disciples of chaitanya mahaprabhu he was having madan mohan deity so these deities were also another incarnation called arch avatar just like there is avatar of lord krishna which appears like a human being the form that we see in the temple even though they are carved out of wood and stone they are not wood and stone they are krishna himself krishna has used our hands maybe to exhibit those forms but those forms are completely spiritual they appear like wood and they appear like stone but to pure devotees they are as good as uh krishna who is there in the spiritual world and he walks with them talks with them thus sanatan goswami he was carrying the madan mohan deity madan mohan deity was carved by vajranap the great grandson of krishna so who tells that these things are mythology we have madan mohan deity it is being worshiped in karoli in uh, rajasthan you go there go in devji deity is there in jaipur gopinath ji is there also in jaipur these deities are carved by vajranap so deities are real so the person who carved them got them carved he is also real he is great grandson of krishna vajranap there is historical reference so krishna is a real personality but divine personality so this madan mohan deity one of the deities was being carried by sanatan goswami who was staying under different trees he was moving around sanyasi writing books and like that and he would hang the deity of madan mohan on a tree and then he would describe uh, the vedic literatures write them compile them chant his names in this way he would do his work and then whatever little things he needs to eat those things he would offer to madan mohan ji so one day madan mohan ji told the deity which appears like a stone sanatan every day you are giving me dry chapatis please give me little salt also so madan mohan ji simple request so sanatan goswami told my dear lord i have got so much of seva to do i have to write all these books today you are asking me salt tomorrow you will ask ghee i am a sanyasi how will i arrange all these things so please be satisfied with that so this is called spontaneous love you need not observe many standards having a nice throne chamar vyanjan and peacock fan all these things you hang krishna on a tree hang on your neck offer him dry chapati not very delicious food stuff krishna is satisfied by pure love no rules and regulations so krishna can be worshiped on this spontaneous platform so by formal worship eat jaya it is being mentioned here by following rules and regulations and this thing you can see other form but you cannot approach krishna two handed form that is only by rules and regulations one can approach narayan four handed form but without when a person reaches spontaneous platform only then so all these words are very important you notice eat jaya this word has been added to see this two handed form of krishna cannot be seen even by formal worship with great love spontaneous love worship 
Temple worship is important, but with great love, spontaneous love, it has to be done. Now let us see the final verses. Bhaktiyatvanyaya shakya aham evam vidhorjuna gyatum drashtum cha tatvena praveshtum cha parantapa My dear Arjuna, only by undivided devotional service can I be understood as I am, standing before you and can thus be seen directly. Only in this way can you enter into the mysteries of my understanding. So here Krishna has told Bhakti Atu Ananyanya Shakya. So by not formality, your mind is somewhere and you are offering the lamp and this thing with great love. So deity worship is very important. We should do every day, but we should do it with great attention and with great love. Bhakti Atu Ananyaya. Without any ulterior motive, only then Krishna can be known. So it does not mean, please do not neglect all these things. Okay, tomorrow onwards, I will not read Bhagavad Gita. I will not read Vedas. I will not engage in tapasya. I will not give any charity. No, these things have to be done. But we have to do these things with great love. Just like we spend money out of love for our family members. So in that love, we should try to spend for Krishna. We have to read Vedas for the pleasure of Krishna to understand Krishna so that I can serve Krishna very nicely. Tapasya should be done also only for the service of Krishna, not for any other ulterior motive. That I have this personal agenda, so no, not for that. So all these things we have to execute for the service of Krishna under direction of spiritual master. So now this last verse of this chapter, this is called the essence of Bhagavad Gita. So please hear very carefully all the words which are very very important. Mat karma krin mat paramo mat bhakta sang varjitaha nirvaira sarva bhuteshu yasamameti pandava. My dear Arjuna, one who is engaged in my pure devotional service, free from the contaminations of previous activities. And from mental speculation, who is friendly to every living entity, certainly comes to me. So Krishna is telling Mat Karma Krin Mat Parmo. So what is the essence of Bhagavad Gita? Mat Karma Krin. One should do karmas for Krishna's service, Krishna Karma. As we have discussed, whatever skills we have got, we have to use it for Krishna. We want to make skyscrapers, make a skyscraper temple for Krishna so that everybody can come and participate in the service of Lord. We want to do business, do nice business for the benefit of Krishna. You have no skills, you can just cook, cook very nice things for Krishna. Same perfection and pleasure can be achieved. So nowadays people are suffering because they think by engaging only in a particular way, I'll be happy. Only if I enter the topmost institute of the country, in the topmost government position, in the topmost corporate position, then I will be happy in my life. This is complete misconception, complete misconception. Our happiness is related to, it is directly proportional to how much we are pleasing God, that's it. This is the relationship. Yatha taror mul nisheshanena. Tripyanti Tatraskand Bujopa Shakha. If this finger, these fingers feed any other mouth, apart from this one, fingers will not get nourishment. So we have to understand our relationship with the Supreme. So we are part and parcel of Supreme. Only when we serve the Supreme, we will get nourishment, the happiness which we are seeking. So we need not change our position that Krishna will stress again in the 18th chapter of Bhagavad Gita. Sve sve karmani abhirataha In one's own occupation, sam siddhim labhate naraha Siddhi means perfection. Sam siddhi means top, most perfection. So it is so simple and so nice. We need not worry. And I don't have the skills but I am somehow struggling. We need not worry whatever skills we have or we don't have. To our capacity, Patram Pusham Krishna is telling, offer me water, offer me leaf. I will be satisfied with that. Mat Karmikrin, what is required is engagement in the service of Krishna. You know cooking, cook for Krishna. You know cleaning, clean for Krishna. You cannot do anything. You can simply use your tongue 
chant the names of krishna sing for krishna spread the message of krishna preach explain to others so just we have to do mat karma krin and we can experience this it is practical so i request all of you so uh, now by krishna's grace there are so many opportunities so many places where practically devotees can come and uh, under proper guidance they can engage in the service of krishna so please try to see that practically in your life automatically there is no uh, need to argue when there is some practical thing available the taste of pudding is in eating it so you taste it and then you will realize automatically then all the debates will get silenced there would be no need mat karma krin the success is whatever skills we have got orientation we have got we should serve krishna in that capacity so don't take stress don't take anxiety just try to implement this thing and then mat paramo now i am engaged in service of krishna for what so that i can continue my material uh, happiness here so that krishna makes me successful in my some uh, sense gratification here we will have sense satisfaction automatically senses will not demand any separate satisfaction they will always be satiated but service of krishna should only be mat parmo for krishna so association of krishna in the spiritual world is the topmost aim for the spiritualist so krishna should be made the ultimate aim of all the activities so one should engage in the service of krishna so that only a person can attain go and live with god personally and this was very well known to people in uh, especially in this aryavarta where people were following sanatan dharma that is why the snakes and ladders it is called moksha pati in sanskrit moksha pati means ultimately you have to attain moksha freedom from this birth and death that was known to people and it was called vaikuntha palli how to reach vaikuntha vaikuntha means the place where there is no anxiety and thus lord vishnu uh, is called venkateshwar that is from vaikunth eshwar lord of vaikuntha when is to ultimately reach the association of lord vaikunteshwar venkateshwar in the vaikuntha vaikuntha palli so the ladders they are virtues tapasya dan swadhyay yagya and the snakes they represent vices lust anger greed deceit falsity adultery intoxication all these things so child also knows these things have to be avoided this is where if you do tapasya then the ladder will take you to certain planet if you do another tapasya charity it will take you to some different result so the child knows everything the laws of karma if i do this activity the result is that i go to this planet and ultimately the result is vaikuntha i have to go so mat parmo attaining my association i should be the aim of life of all the activities that you are doing mat bhakta sang varjita thus you have to engage in my service and sang varjita avoid the association of non devotees the non devotees having a consciousness if we associate with them intimately then we will pick up their qualities so just like it is very practical we see now also children are always being cautioned by their parents don't associate with bad children those who are not studious those who are uh, not having good manners those who are into bad habits do not associate with them so in a similar fashion those people who are completely unaware of the aim of life they are into bad habits sense gratification other addictions the whole world is actually addicted so this sense enjoyment which we have made the aim of life it is nothing but addiction it is not required but we artificially keep on increasing our dependence on the resources which is not required in the first place so if we associate with people who are addicted to unnecessary enjoyment that is not recommended so sang varijita is very important so now by krishna's grace we have so many devotees we should try to live in the community of devotees and socialize only with the devotees this is important yes we should be very respectful to everyone because lord is present in the heart of everyone we should not be disrespectful even to the animals maintaining very good behavior one should avoid because they are having disease even our family member we quarantine them if they get diseased right we care for them but if we approach them too closer we will also get diseased so for the time being let us maintain some distance take care of them with some distance so we do preach them do try to help them to come out we should try to do that as we will see krishna mentions that but 
we don't intimately mix with them we intimately mix only with the devotees nirvaira sarvabhuteshu then one should be friendly to all living entities nirvaira vaira means enmity nirvaira means no enmity friendly what is the meaning of friendly not just formality i am your friend real friend means who goes and helps the friend in distress so the whole world is in distress it is told in shrimad bhagavatam the greatest calamity that can happen to a person the greatest loss that can happen to a person is not losing one's life we think if life is lost everything is lost no because we know we will take another body is bus changing of dress so one should not cry for death the greatest loss is not loss of wealth is not loss of anything but it mentions the greatest loss is for getting the lotus feet of krishna for one moment because we do not relish the nectar which devotees enjoy on spiritual platform when they are completely pure when their heart is cleansed completely of lust and greed like the gopis they are cursing that brahma does not know how to make the bodies why he has made eyes to blink because when we blink the eyes we close for a fraction of moment and then we miss the sight of krishna and we curse why these eyes need blinking so they cannot tolerate missing krishna's vision even for the fraction of moment for the blink of an eye this much pleasure devotees derive when they see behold the beautiful form of krishna through their eyes or within their heart so forgetting the lotus feet of krishna for one moment is the biggest loss they are telling him so people are so much suffering every moment they are being harassed because they cannot think of lotus feet of krishna always and obviously the basic miseries are there death is there repeated death old age disease and because of ignorance we have created so much unwanted stress in our life so nirvaira means we should preach krishna consciousness give them these simple instructions mat karma krin please engage in the service of krishna mat parmo may krishna the ultimate aim of life satatam kirtayantu maam always chant krishna's name so these simple teachings we can spread to others there is no loss why don't you try this please please try this thing and you will see that it is very sublime nirvaira sarvabhuteshu yas samam eti pandava certainly such a person comes to me maam eti he will come to my abode so it is important to engage in service of krishna so this is very practical it is not some theory so if you do not have knowledge of bhagavad gita we'll see oh wonderful philosophy but then we do not know how to apply it but here it is very simple mat karma krin engage in service of krishna mat parmo make going back to live with krishna ultimate aim of life mat bhakta thus engage in his devotional service sanga varjitah avoid bad association who are non devotees no idea about aim of life nirvaira sarvabhuteshu you have to work for the welfare act in a friendly manner for all living entities the spreading krishna consciousness is must for going back to godhead one has to act for the welfare of others gyanis and yogis they don't do welfare they go and sit in the himalayas they will read the vedas vedanta disregard entire material world as illusion they will not uh, help others but helping others is very important so one who helps others nirvaira sarvabhuteshu yas samam eti pandava he will come to so please just read this again and meditate how we can implement in this life and we are always there to guide how this can be practically implemented in life and then within this human body only when this body is purified by executing this there is unlimited bliss always within the heart so this was the crux of this chapter we have seen that the two handed form of krishna which was shown to arjuna that is the top most that is most confidential and from that form expands narayan form from that expands the universal form and further now uh, as some people impersonalists they tell that this universal form is supreme that has been very very clear but still there can be some lingering doubt whether that impersonal path is better or this devotional path is better so now directly very very clearly arjuna puts forth this question always there has been this debate impersonalism versus personalism so if you have read bhagavad gita very carefully you would have come to the right conclusion still if there is some lingering doubt that will be cleared now arjuna is putting forth now direct question arjuna who is supreme 
वन हु वर्शिप्स इम पर्सनल फॉर्म योर एनर्जी विच इज स्प्रेड एवरीवेयर और द डिवोटी हू ऑलवेज वर्शिप्स योर पर्सनल फॉर्म द आंसर विल बी गिवन इन द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर वेरी नाइस इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर डिवोशनल सर्विस तो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर हियरिंग टिल नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट जस्ट नेवर फर्गेट दिस फंडामेंटल प्रिंसिपल टू ऑलवेज चैंड द होली नेम्स ऑफ कृष्णा एंड नेवर फर्गेट हिम विल मीट वेरी सोन हरे कृष्ण